Hey there, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. Today's look is going to be something a little bit different from what I normally do. It is going to be like a summer glam look. And this is like the final outcome that we ended up getting. It's definitely something a little bit more fun and bright than what I've done on this channel before. And I'm super happy with the outcome. Um, it's very like something you would wear to maybe a festival or to like the beach, like a beach event or um, somewhere out with friends over the summer. Just super fun, maybe like a concert. Um, I really enjoy this look. It's very like dramatic, very glam, um, very pretty. And so we're going to go ahead and jump right into the video because we have a lot to talk about. So um, if you want to subscribe while you're at it, while we're waiting, go ahead and do that. But let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so for our first step today, for my primer, it's not really going to be a legit primer, but I'm going to go in with the Tarte, Tarte Guard 30 Broad Spectrum Sunscreen Lotion. Um, this is going to, it's going to like moisturize our skin, and since this is like a summer look, um, the sun is going to be out and popping, so we got to protect this little money maker. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, we just got to protect our skin, and so this kind of works like a really good primer as well. This little hair is getting on my nerves. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we're just going to put that all over our face. It leaves it a little bit sticky, but it does dry in as more of being like solid. Sorry, there's like a plane landing outside of my window right now, it sounds like. That's annoying. Okay, so for our foundation today, I'm going to be going in with the Fenty Beauty Foundation. And this is in the shade 210. And so I'm just going to shake that up a little bit. And then I'm going to pump some up. Ooh, that like shot into there. Pump some up out of the top. And then I'm going to go in with my Morphe um, M439 brush. And we are just going to dab that on there. It's kind of like, you know, paint on a paint palette thing. And we're just going to blend starting from the center of the face outward. And because um, this is going to be kind of full coverage, but we don't want it to, to be like cakey or anything. So we're just going to blend that out all over our face. Okay, so we just blended that foundation out, and for our concealer today, I'm going to be going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Beige, and I'm going to be using this Beauty Sponge from Morphe, and I'm going to spritz it with this Miracle Mist Hydrating Spray by Pure, and so we're just going to spritz that around on it to get it a little bit damp, because um, I didn't wet it, which isn't like a huge deal, but we'll be okay. Um, and so I'm just, we're not going to go for a full like beat face, because summer you um you don't want to go to full coverage or this look at least um because yeah it's going to be a little bit more glowy i think and so we're just going to take this uh beauty blender and kind of just blend out all of that concealer on our face and just dab that into the skin Okay, for our setting powder today, I'm going to be using the Ulta Beauty Mineral Setting Powder. Y'all, this stuff is like really good, and it's like not that expensive. So if you're just looking for like a good, this is almost like a little bit of upgrade from a drugstore setting powder. But um, I definitely recommend it. It does make it like very smooth. I mean, obviously it's not like a high, high, high quality, but um, it's, you're getting your money's worth. Like it's, it's very, it's worth the money. So we're kind of just going to like put that setting powder all over that concealer area. Um, it's just kind of like super light. I didn't really focus so much on that today. For our bronzer today, we are going to be going in with the most summer bronzer of all time. The Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Now I've used this before. You can get this in a drugstore. Um, it literally smells like paradise. Like it smells like coconuts. And we're just going to contour the face lightly with this bronzer um kind of just go under the cheekbones you know the drill around the forehead sides of the nose under the chin just ah, like line the face so we're not going like a full deep contour with this look but we're just kind of get get that like light glow because like this is a summer look so you want to look a little bit tan and bronzed and you know you know what you want Okay, so for our blush today, I'm going to be going in with this Sonia Kashuk brush in the shade Sunset 03. Um, and we are just going to put that on our cheekbones. Not our cheekbones, on our apples. Well, I guess technically there's a cheekbone under there. But um, we're just going to like blend that out lightly. And then um, 
I don't know, I kind of like it because it's like a very peachy color and you got to be going for it. Like, a blushy look if you want to use this um, don't this isn't like a subtle blush but um, I'm gonna go like after putting that on my cheeks you can see it's a little bit rosy not rosy but like peachy rosy you know what I'm saying so we're gonna go back around the edges of it with our um, foundation brush there's nothing on it but it's kind of just gonna soften up those edges because you don't want to be like hello here's my little rosy cheeks Okay, now I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows really fast with this Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Brown, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so as it turns out, that Revlon stick is like empty, like I've used it all. So I actually went in, and this is what I do, honestly, like a whole, whole lot. I use like a really small, like precision brush, and I go in this Jaclyn Hill palette, and I use this dark brown shade, and I just like fill it in. Now, it's not like you're getting these like banging Instagram worthy eyebrows but um when I think of the summer I just think of like more natural looks rather than a full beat 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 face um, I feel like you're focusing more on the eyes in the summer if you want to get crazy but your skin is going to have that glow from the sun and so and I'm getting a little deep trying to explain my loss of an eyebrow pencil because I'm out of the rest of them too but um yeah I just kind of like I like natural looking eyebrows anyway I'm not a huge huge fan of those like slayed eyebrows because I mean obviously no one's eyebrows look like that and these are like pretty much my natural eyebrows with just like a little bit of fill in but you know it's your preference so for our highlight today I'm gonna be going in this um, 35e palette from Morphe now they don't actually this palette's not online right now like I checked earlier and um, I don't think it has been for a while. I bought this like right before it went out. But these are all, it's like an all glitter palette. But I bought it mainly because of this top row. And so it doesn't really matter what you use. I'm going to be going in with this like iridescent pink shade mixed with this center like light gold shade. But you can use really anything. And this is not like a highlighter palette by any means. But I use it a lot for a highlight, highlighter palette. And that's like a little bit of like an iridescent -y glow which um, is like super nice, like it reminds me of like Hangout Fest, which is like near where I'm from, you know, like everybody has that weird crazy makeup, uh, but it's still kind of like that natural finish, but this is not like a Hangout Fest look by any means. I just really like that iridescent look, and I know we have like a coral mixed with the iridescent, but I think, I think it looks kind of cool. And so we're just going to like kind of feel back in that blush area to kind of just make it blend a little bit together. And I think like the pink and the purple tone contrast looks a little bit kind of cool to me, honestly. Okay, so now we're getting to the fun part. The fun part is always the eyes in my opinion. Now uh, for our first shade, we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to get like this big fluffy blending brush and we're going to go in this golden yellow shade in this Jaclyn Hill palette. And we're just going to put that in the crease of our eyes. Now this this eye look, I want it to be kind of like a fun, uh, something like maybe a festival eye look, but like you would wear it to a festival, festival, but not like only for that. Um, Cause I love fun eye looks in the summer. Like summer, in my opinion, is like the time to be alive for makeup. And this isn't like Coachella inspired or anything. This is just like straight up what I would wear. Okay, now we're going to kind of darken that, and we're going to go in with this, like, neutral shade right behind, but beside it, and we're going to go straight over, like, <coughs> sorry, kind of like what we just did, just to kind of soften yet darken it, because um, we're still working our way. And now we are going to go into this, like, red, um, it's, like, really, like, a reddish burnt orange shade, and we're using this, like, kind of, like, thinner brush it's still fluffy but um it's a little bit more precise and we're gonna go straight up in the line of the crease with this color Ooh, i haven't used this color in like such a long time now to kind of like darken that corner i'm gonna go in with that shade right below that red we just used it's the deeper red and i'm gonna be using the m505 brush from morphe and we're just going to, going to go in the outer corner of our eye just to kind of like define the edge and give it a little bit like of a darker appeal. 
Now, even though we've kind of covered it with all of these deep reds, I'm going to go back in that mar marigold look, marigold, marigold, cardinal yellow. I don't know what color this is. We're going to go back into like the crease on the outer edge and going to kind of just like lightly soften up that edge because um, I want to keep that yellow look around the edge because this is more of a fun look. Like this isn't as like deep red serious look. Uh, I want to keep it like kind of, I don't know what that was like fun rainbowy, and so it just kind of like softens up that edges kind of like blends it all a little bit more together okay so for our lid today I want to try to keep it kind of like yellow and bright and so we are just gonna go straight in with this like pat down brush and we're gonna go back in that 35e palette for Morphe and so even though this is like isn't on the side you can use like any kind of bright yellow and we're just gonna like dab that in the center of our um eyeball and we're going to kind of just like cover all of that inner corner okay to kind of like blend it together we have a very like ketchup -y mustard thing going on I'm going to actually go in with this like corally pink shade with like kind of like a thin yet fluffy brush um but it's a little bit like precise and we're going to kind of go in that like little transition line where like it goes from the yellow to the red and we're just gonna like swivel up and down and like swivel and pat to blend those shades together that's really pretty from in here so this is like so pretty it like goes from yellow to pink to kind of like a red and from in here it just looks like really like a fun and like sunsetty or sunrisey appeal I don't even know so for our waterline we're actually gonna go into that bright yellow not waterline like under the lash line and we are gonna like line that whole bottom lash with this bright yellow to keep that like bright look and I think that's like just makes it so fun I feel like Big Bird if he wore like a big pink fluffy coat that made no sense you know like the pink and the yellow thing I got going on sorry I didn't notice I had like a black smudgy thing on my face now on the outer um bottom lash line like towards the end of the eye we're gonna go into that uh corally pink shade to like blend it out to the edge just to add a little something extra now i'm gonna line my waterline with this nyx black eye pencil and it just uh it's actually really good i normally use like an urban decay one but for like a four dollar liner I was satisfied with this now for our top line today I'm gonna be or the our eyeliner today I'm gonna be using the tattoo liner in the shade trooper by Kat Von D because this is like my favorite liner ever and I don't think I'm gonna like do a full cat eye today I think I just kind of want to fill in that top line like just fill in above the um just above the lashes because I've been doing cat lines cat eyeliner or like winged liner so much lately that I just want like a little break so now that we've done like that top wing liner I'm gonna go in and like just curl my ashes my my ashes my eyelashes lightly um because we're gonna be using falsies and then I'm gonna put on a little bit of this bang bad gal bang um mascara just like add a little bit before we go in with those falsies Okay, so for our lashes today, I'm going to be using the uh, Cosmetics London Eyelid Definition eyelashes. And, like, I've used this brand before, and I love this brand. Like, it's from Target, or these are from Target. You can get them at, like, other places, though. But they honestly are very good, and they're very, like, cheap, too. Okay, so I just went in and put those lashes on and then filled in my bottom lashes with some of this mascara and then kind of put a little bit more on the top to kind of, like, blend them together and these lashes are so much more dramatic than what I'm used to but I'm I'm kind of liking it like it's super like BAM like this is definitely turned into like a festival more look um or like somewhere like super fun that you're going over the summer like a vacay or vacay <laughs> vacay or vacation whatever or something and so um to get us like we're gonna finish up with the lips and I'm gonna put on some of this Aloha Coconut Chapstick because <laughs> you know it's like in the mood but normally I put on Vaseline before I put on any lipstick but since this is a summer look we're gonna stay with the theme 
and that smells so good y'all i want to do like a pinky red um but i kind of want to do both and so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to go in with this morphe hot shot like liquid lipstick and we are going to just apply that to the lip now this is like a like a bad butt lipstick like every time i wear this lipstick i feel like no one can really mess with me you know um because it's just so like bam and people would be like wow She's like a red lip queen. Um, but we're also going to go in with this Coco K lipstick um, in the Ochre shade um, from Kali Cosmetics. But this is like the Coco line. And we're going to kind of like go around, you know, we're just going to do the whole thing, I think. Just like a light layer, like I took a lot of it off. Um, this is going to kind of just like tone it down. Like, of course you could get like a pinky red lip. But I kind of wanted to see like how toned down this would make the the red hot shot lip. Um, it's really pretty. It's just like you can definitely see the pink tones over it. And as if we don't have enough going on, I'm gonna go in with this buxom buxom buxom. I can't pronounce anything. I don't know if y'all noticed that yet. Um, in the cherry flip, it's like a lip gloss, and this is the mini. And these lipsticks kind of like they're minty, and they kind of like make your lips tingle. And I like it. And we're just going to apply that over it just to give us that glossy look. And so for our final step, I'm going to go in with a pure Miracle Mist hydrating spray. And that's what we're going to use to just like set our makeup. And um, it smells pretty like clean too. Like I really like this stuff. And so it just like makes it stay. Okay y'all, so that was it for today's video. This is like the final look. Um, it's very very bright very summery very glam um it's definitely fitting for like if you're going somewhere beachy or somewhere festively or if you just want to like doll up and go for that like reddish yellow pinky look i think it's super beautiful i think the highlight's really pretty um my hair on the other hand is a different story this was just trying to get it out of my face and i was trying i'm thinking about growing my bangs out I don't know yet, but yeah, anyway, I love this look, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you really liked it. I hope this, hopefully this was helpful. Um, this is definitely a little bit different than what I do. These lashes are not normally in my comfort zone. All of this blending of bright colors is not normally something I do, so I definitely try to reach out of my comfort zone in this video, so hopefully you liked it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe to my channel. I would super duper appreciate it. New videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday covering lifestyle, beauty, college. Um, I have a whole bunch of things planned for like the whole summer. It's going to be super fun. And so thank you so much for watching this video. I super duper in uh, appreciate it. And so can't wait to see you again. I don't want to kiss my hand because it'll get red all over it, but you know what I mean. So thank you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching.